Hello everyone. In our life, there will be moments of discouragement, humiliation, failure, but just keep one thing in mind. Nothing is perpetual. We can beat them by our commitment, persistence, and holding the belief of yes, we can. Yes, you can. Have you ever identified that your performance improves when you are surrounded by others? Imagine you are doing preparation for a presentation on a well-prepared topic. You have spent hours researching, organizing your thoughts, and creating a visually engaging slideshow. You feel confident in your ability to deliver a compelling presentation. On the day of presentation, you walk into the classroom filled with your classmates, experts, and teachers. You are noticing that everyone looking at you. As you begin your presentation, you feel a surge of energy. You speak clearly, project confidence, and engage the audience with your compelling content. The positive energy in the room fuels your passion and help you maintain a smooth flow throughout your presentation. Yes, you are guessing right. Today we will discuss about social facilitation. Why does the presence of other people influence our behavior, our performance? Type and historical background of social facilitation. So, let's begin. Social facilitation is a psychological concept that explaining the presence of others enhance and strengthen individual's performance. But it is not that simple to understand the concept of social facilitation. To understand it clearly, we also have to understand the historical background and various approaches. I will try my best to explain whole concept in simplified manner. In 1898, Norman Triplett conducted a significant study on social facilitation, which was a milestone in understanding social facilitation. Triplett was an enthusiast of bicycle racing. They identified that cyclists ride faster when competing with other riders in comparison to when they are riding alone. To validate this observation, he referred official record of cycling association and they confirmed that when there are competition with other riders, cyclists ride faster in comparison when cyclists trying to beat someone's record but they are riding alone. To investigate this scientifically, Triplett conducted a study that is widely accepted as one of the earliest experimental studies in social psychology. So, we can understand the importance of this study. In his study, he recorded the performance of 40 children. Approximately half of the children completed the task faster when they were in competition with other children. 10 children completed the task slower during competitive situations. Interestingly, the remaining 10 demonstrated consistent performance in both competitive situations and without competition. This particular finding explaining that how individual responding in the presence of others. Triplet finding indicated that how individual showing their performance in the presence of others is not universal. Just because out of 40 children, 20 children strengthen their performance, 10 children weaken their performance and 10 children presented that there are no any changes in competitive environment as well as in without competition. In 1924, psychologist Floyd Alport was the first person to formally use this particular term social facilitation. They defined social facilitation as an increase in response from the sight or sound of others making the same environment. Later on, a modified definition came and now social facilitation is an increase in response from others who may or may not be performing the same task. Mean, if another individual is present as a competitor or audience, both can impact the performance. And now we have to understand there are two types of social facilitation. 
first co-action effects and second audience effects co-action effects refer to the improvement in an individual's performance when they are working on a task alongside other who also performing the same task this effect suggests that the mere presence of others engaging in the same activity can enhance an individual's performance for example we can take an example we perform better in library when people are present in comparison when we are reading at home in a similar quiet situation so you will be able to read for a longer period of time and you will be able to write be attentive for a longer period of time in library just because other individual also doing the same task now the second type of social facilitation is audience effect audience effect means influence of an audience on an individual's performance this effect explains that individual may perform better when others are observing them the presence of audience can create a sense of evaluation and social pressure and this sense of evaluation and social pressure enhance an individual's performance for example we perform better when presenting a speech in front of listeners it is not necessary that others who are listening is also the speaker they could be only audience so according to triplet and alport how individuals showing their performance in the presence of others is not universal so we can say expert was also not aware about why few people perform well in the presence of others but few individuals performance going down or not showing any change why this is happening many researchers was interested to understand why it is happening and they found that there are three factors behind social facilitation first is cognitive factors this refers to the role of attention and distraction in social facilitation according to the distraction conflict theory of social facilitation that is presented by baron and they presented this theory in 1986 and according to this particular theory our performance is not only based on the presence of others instead it's based on the conflict between attending to people and attending to the task when any person has this conflict it motivates individual to focus more on task and this particular attentiveness improves their performance second is affective factors affective factors refer to how anxiety and self presentation influence social facilitation in 1968 cottrell presented that performance is not getting influenced by presence of other people they said that social facilitation occurs because of apprehension about being evaluated by observer and audience third factor is physiological factor according to jejong higher arousal level and drive to perform in a situation impact social facilitation the presence of others generates additional arousal and it can push us beyond our optimal level of arousal for a given task this heightened arousal can lead to dominant response i am repeating this this heightened arousal can lead to dominant response and dominant response means default or most neutral action in a given situation according to jejong for a simple task if you are involved in simple task the dominant response is usually effective and leading to social facilitation and in result we perform better on that particular task in contrast for complex or unfamiliar task the dominant response is less likely to occur and it inhibits the performance when others are present that means when you are performing something in which you are expert social facilitation occurs and the presence of others further enhances your performance and when performing new or challenging task presence of others is more likely to hinder your performance 
so there are right in in this whole concept we talked about there are two types of social facilitation first co-action effect second audience effect and there are three factors behind social facilitation first is cognitive second is effective and third is physiological factor now i would like to share one question with you right because i found that particular question in one of uh, psychology entrance exam so now you can see the question on your screen so there are two list list one list two we have to match both the list so in list one you can find social learning theory repeated exposure effect social facilitation and theory of causal attribution in list two you can find bandera triplet you can find kelly and jejong and then you can find you know code like you can see a4 b3 c2 d1 second option is a1 b2 c3 d4 third option is a4 b3 c1 d2 and fourth option is a1 b4 c2 and d3 pause the video and let us know the correct answer in the comment box i am very hopeful that after watching this video you will not face any difficulty to answer this in today's explanation we talked about two psychologists from the given list in the question triplet and jejong we know triplet conducted the first study on social facilitation so triplet will be related to option c social facilitation and jejong said that when we perform simple task or those tasks in which we are expert then social facilitation will occur so jejong will be connected to option b repeated exposure effect a repeated exposure effect means a person will be an expert due to the nature of the task now i would like to mention thank you for watching this video till end if you are doing preparation for psychology entrance keep faith in yourself and be consistent you will definitely get what you want right bye take care